My next guest, Katharina de Mendoza, whole life changed in the blink of an eye, and it would take the self-discipline of her entire family to help her achieve her goals and fulfill her destiny. Take a look. My parents had always put a big emphasis on academics early on in life. My siblings had, in the past, graduated a year early, and I was trying to follow in their footsteps. I was so determined. I was like, I can do this, and I will do this. I was set to graduate that May. I had already got into University of North Texas. I was all set, and it just didn't work out. I got into the car. I went to the store just down the street, not even a mile from the house. I just bought eggs, and I went back to my car. I put them in the passenger seat, and then, like, I remember, like, I gripped the steering wheel, and then, like, it was just really blurry after that. The parking lot was the last thing I remember. And in my head, I had just went home and went to sleep. But everything was black. I feel like I talked to God for a second. I really do. I got woken up in the ambulance and somebody was trying to talk to me and I didn't know, like, all of a sudden, it was just, it all hit me. And then like all the pain was in my body and it hurt so bad. I had went from just about to meet my goal and in the blink of an eye, I had went to having to relearn basic functions, learning to speak properly and learning to write. I was not gonna let that stop me from reaching my goals. Oh, Katharina and her parents, Mario and Diana are with us in studio. Welcome to the show. Well, we're crying. Oh. Mario, I'm looking at you. Diane, I'm looking at you. I can't even imagine as parents reliving that moment when you got that call yeah. that yeah. something had gone wrong. Yeah. Yes. How did you get word, Mario? We were, uh, we were in bed and we got a call, I think about uh, midnight that something had happened. And the scariest part was no one could tell us if she was okay. And so we drove from Houston to North Texas, not knowing anything. We kept trying to call and find out what's happening. Because mm -hmm. uh, we, had, we had already lost another child to a car accident. And so. And did you think, wait, not again. This can't be happening to us again, Diana? I had prayed mm -hmm. over, you know, all of my life once I've had kids. You know, please, Lord, let them be, let them grow to be an old age and don't let them get hurt or injured in any car wrecks. Um, you know, just keep them safe and yeah. kind of a hedge of protection around them. But you learned that, Katharina, you were alive. However, you had a traumatic brain injury, mm -hmm. fractured the base of your skull. Um, you had to learn, as we saw there, to write, to speak, eight months of physical, occupational, and speech therapy. Yeah, it was just, um, it was really hard through therapy. It was sort of learning how to be myself again, and that really wasn't working out. I was learning to be a new person. After all of this, learning um, new coping skills. Um, how did you, you were, a ba you are a baby, you're only 18 now. Yeah. You're uh, a baby when this happens, you're ready yeah. to go to a very competitive, and, and I mean, to get accepted into that universe is a big deal. Uh, and now you're thinking about just basic speech. Mm -hmm. How did you discipline yourself to do that? So what I've learned, it's one thing to be determined, but discipline, it is just a constant thing that you have to struggle with. You always, it's the first thing you think of when you wake up in the morning and the last thing you think of when you go to sleep. It's something that has to be always on your mind. So you had that drive. Was it from the way you were raised? Yes, ma'am. Uh, so we grew up in a military home, and my dad, <laughs> my dad, my dad served in the army, uh, and so it was sort of uh, ingrained in me. From I a understand. Young age. As a child of my stepfather, military, I still lay out all my clothes. So Sunday, I take out everything I'm wearing for the week <laughs> because my dad said, 
you waste time every day if you're thinking about what you're going to wear. Yes. It's yes. one thing you can take care of. So my clothes from my underwear, sorry, Mario, to everything <laughs> else is laid yeah. out. So yes. I don't have to worry about it. Yes. yes, exactly. So you learned this discipline from your father's military background, from your mom's devotion to the family, but now you have to activate it. They can't do that work for mm -hmm. you. They can't go to occupational therapy. They can't go to physical therapy. They can't go to speech. You have to do it. And you did it. Yeah. Oh. It was just insane. It felt like every day I would wake up and there was still something wrong, a new problem, something that I had to go through again to fix. Uh, as I went through therapy, uh, we, uh, they would test me to try and see, okay, well, what degree is this? How bad is this? Right. Um, and I, it's just, oh. it was just very hard, honestly. Um, but I found myself... Um, getting into a state of depression. I was very distraught. Uh, I kept trying to go back to school. Uh, I remember after my accident, I was still set yeah. on graduating early. I hadn't fully um, comprehended what was going on. Um, and after my accident, I was like, okay, I can still do this. I can still graduate early. I can do this. I know I can do this. After being told. Yeah, you yeah. Know, after she did. And you, you went back early mm -hmm. and had a little bit of a setback, but then, yeah. You reset. A reset. And where are you now? Ah, oh, well, I'm in college right now. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And you're not just in college, you are working. Yeah, working full time, full college time. full time. College uh, full time, yeah. working full time. Yeah. And you were able to graduate this past spring. Yes, on time. On time. Yes, I am. Yeah. 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 Graduated, yeah. I mean, just graduated in the UK. That was from a mission trip I was at. Um, I decided to miss my graduation. Um, instead, go on a mission trip. I felt like um, I should really give the glory to God that that wasn't. <laughs> you are going and doing things for others. You are spreading the faith that kept you going. And I know you have to be so proud of her. Oh, you very are. proud. And I, and I told her when she was packing that suitcase, I'm like, you put the graduation gown in there and that cat missing because <laughs> mama's getting a graduation picture. <laughs> Most important, you gave yourself the life you were destined to have. Yes. Congratulations on everything. Happy birthday, Diana Mario. I am so proud of this kid.